Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be like King Kong. I got brown and pink toes. They don't wanna leave me alone. Get my t-shirt by V-Long. I'ma sit to the G-Code. I see you through the peephole. Do this shit for my people. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Ashantia, aka Sean Doe, and I'm back at y'all with another mother loving video. Today, I'm doing another DIY. Another DIY. Another DIY. Eh, 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 eh. But anyway, I'm coming at y'all with another DIY. Yes, I said. I'm about to get these DIYs popping on the channel because the last one did really good. Y'all must really like when I do DIYs. So, today, I have on the outfit that we're going to DIY. So yes, it's an outfit today. I know a lot of y'all that know me, y'all know I'm, fa I'm into fashion. I do fashion. You know, so a lot of my DIYs are gonna start turning into fashion, like fashion DIYs, but I'm still gonna be doing my home decor and just fun little DIYs too. But anyway, I rumble a lot, if y'all haven't noticed that. But um, <laughs> but before I do that, I need y'all to go ahead and subscribe. If y'all not subscribed to me, because you know you're gonna come back and watch the next video. So you might as well go ahead and subscribe so you can know when I put the next video out, you don't need to go search for it. Search for the color on screen. Go ahead and So here we go. Okay, so here is the sweater. I call it my Bill Cosby sweater. I got this from the thrift store. Like, I got this from the thrift store like, I wanna say four years ago. <laughs> it's been a really long time. Today, we're gonna be turning this into this. If you want to see how I'm about to turn this granddaddy sweater into a pop-in crop top and a skirt, then stay tuned. All right, so here are the items that we're going to be using today. Number one is my brother's sewing machine. The brand is Brother. It belongs to me. <laughs> and then I have the elastic band that is going to be needed for the skirt. My pin. Some safety pins that's going to be needed for the elastic and then of course some scissors so we can cut everything up now let's go ahead and get into it all right so now we're going to cut the sweater um, I did put <laughs> I did put two pins in here just to put um, <clears throat> just to put a mark of where I'm going to cut the um, the top versus the bottom now, I'm going to let y'all know, this might be a little Tatiana outfit. It might, because <laughs> the skirt might be really short. But that's okay. We can just wear this around the crib if you want to. Or if you really get Tatiana, you can wear it outside. So, I put two pins because this is where I want it to... The first pin is where I want it to sit. And the second pin is where I'm actually going to cut. So you want to cut at least, I would say, a half an inch to one inch below where you want the shirt to actually sit. Because you're gonna have to fold it under and sew it, and that's what we're gonna use the uh, machine for. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to cutting. And I'm just gonna do it all together. Like, I know usually, some shirts are uh, longer. Well, uh, most shirts are longer in the back than they are in the front. But I don't feel like this one necessarily has to be cut that way. So I'm gonna just go ahead and cut it straight across. Voila! We now have two pieces. Oh, I might just flip it and do this for the top of the skirt. <laughs> I look cordy, don't it? I don't know. We'll see. But so we're going to put, um, since I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, like whether I'm going to make this the top of the skirt or do this, put this to the side for now. 
and we're gonna work with the top. So as you can see, okay, so since this is a sweater, the sweater material, it kind of doesn't look that jagged at the bottom. So I might just leave it like this. But I'm gonna try both of these pieces on so I can see what they really look like. I tried both pieces on and I like it better with the the um, band at the bottom. And I really think that I'm gonna make these into make this into some shorts instead of a skirt. Cause it was so freaking cute. So I'm gonna mess with the top in a minute. It might be finished. I don't know if I'm gonna, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to leave this end ragged or rugged like that. But yeah, we're gonna deal with that in a minute. We're gonna do what we know right now. So for the elastic, that is what's going to go up here on this part, at the, the waistline. So basically you need to measure your waistline with the elastic. And don't be trying to cheat yourself because if you do, your outfit ain't gonna fit. Let's, let's be honest here. I measured mine and here we are. So I did cut a little more. I did cut it a little longer than my waistline because you do have to sew this once you get to the end. You have to sew that. So you gotta make sure you have enough to sew that and still go around you comfortably. So next we're going to make a casing. And basically that is something that's gonna fit the elastic. So essentially it's gonna be like folding it over. Hair everywhere. <laughs> essentially it's gonna be like folding it over. And then the elastic is gonna go inside of this casing. You have to make sure that it is the right size. But what we're gonna do next is um, turn it inside out because you don't want the casing to be shown on the outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that casing and I'm gonna be pinning as I go. For the casing, and now ah, woo, that hurt. Oh gosh, be careful, y'all. I do that a lot, but I haven't sewn in so long that it just scared me. It's really normal. It's nothing wrong with me, <laughs> but um careful kids so you really don't even need a sewing machine for this you can actually just hand stitch it but I'm not doing all of that because I know how to sew so I'm just gonna stitch along the edge to close up the casing and you're gonna leave an opening somewhere I probably will leave it like here you're gonna leave an opening somewhere so that um, once the elastic comes back around you can just pull it and you know, sew it right there, then you're gonna close that up. But it's gonna cinch this in so much that you might not even have to close it up. But essentially that's what um, needs to be done. Let me go ahead and do that.
so everything is sewn. Now I'm gonna put the elastic in there. We're gonna put one safety pin on the end of the elastic. And then I'm gonna find the opening here. Make sure that like if your elastic keeps turning, try to keep it straight. get lost within the outfit. Well, we're almost back around. back around but my elastic is folding if your elastic has folded I don't know I guess just try to unfold it it's very irritating so you remove the safety pin and then you're gonna go ahead and pin both of these I'm gonna pin both of these pieces on top of each other because they're gonna be sewn down. All right, so the elastic is there. I just have to get it stretched like even all around because it's all bunched up here, but then it's straight over here. So all you have to do is just keep playing with it, leveling it out. baby skirt <laughs> okay so for I think I'm gonna turn this into shorts so I'm gonna try it on first but essentially if I'm gonna turn it into shorts I'm gonna go two inches from the bottom and that'll be my crotch and I don't I'm not using any um, measuring tape because you're you can use your pinky from from the top of your pinky to the first knuckle line, that's an inch. And I've just been using that for a long time. Unless I need to measure like my waistline or something like that, I use measuring tape. But for two inches, nah. We're gonna just use the pinky. <laughs> 
So midpoint one inch, two inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin that there. And I don't like really doing shorts this way. I like doing it the regular way where you take one part of the pant and another part of the pant, you put them together, you know what I'm saying? Like I really seen what she's do. But <laughs> for the purposes of this video, and since this is already in this type of form, I'm gonna go ahead and just do it this way. And then I'm just gonna cut like a triangle. And then after the triangle is cut, I'm gonna stitch around that. to be very careful on this part because if you mess up it can mess up your whole outfit and I'm almost feeling like mine is uneven <laughs> like it's more on this side than this side but I don't know so I'm gonna go ahead and just stitch it and we'll see This part is also done inside out so that the seam can open up that way on the outside and not, you know, look all crazy. But I'm gonna go ahead and stitch along this line right there. Be right back. All right, so went ahead and stitched the crotch. And now, oh, gotta string, turn it inside out. I don't know what's gonna be the front versus the back, but we're gonna find that out once you put it on. And, um, oh, so we have bottoms. And then we have a top. Which I am still unsure of what I'm gonna do with the, um, the line there. But I might just leave it because I don't think it looks bad. So I'm gonna go try this on. I'm gonna show y'all what it look like. And we're gonna go from there. All right, so here's the finished look. How we do, y'all? I think it's cute. So the fact that we didn't finish the hem on the shirt, I think that's cute. And the pants came, remember when I told y'all, I think one side was longer, I meant, yeah, one side was longer than the other one on the table. It was. Because my thigh is screaming on this side. But on this side, it's just fine. It's okay. But that's why it's called a DIY. It's still cute and I'm still gonna wear it. So, there you have it, the finished look. Let me know what y'all think about this video down in the comment section. I know y'all gonna leave some heart eyes because this is so cute. Like this. I know I said the last DIY I did was the best DIY, but I think this is a really good one too. So let me know what y'all think. So don't forget to smash that like button if you like this video. Share this video so y'all friends can see it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel by now, I don't know what you're doing, because I know you're going to want to see my next video. So might as well go ahead and subscribe while you're at it. But anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace.